I think we'll start this out with an example. You the filter chain is you're going to have a cast. Oh, you're grabbed by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, right. We might be wrong. We're funny, but not always a no. Abba versus Bab, right? So this is an Abba design and a Bab design. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like some weird martial art. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why I call them that, just because it's kind of fun, right? Um, and ABA, of course, is just we're passionate about it because our field is ABA, so it seems a little self-serving. But um, let's see, what's the difference between them two? You just flip the A's and the B's, and then that's the difference. That's it, right? That's all you got. Um, no, there's more than that. So an ABA design is the core design that you use to establish functional relation in our field. Um, not as good as a withdrawal design or, or as an ABAB design. Um, so it, it's not quite as good as that because you don't get the replication piece built in with the ABAB part. Um, so, or the ABA and BAB, you get my point. Um, but anyway, uh, it, it's there, it's at its core, that's what you need. Practitioners though, in the field, probably not so useful. Why? Because you have problem behavior, you, uh, you, you make a change to problem behavior, you increase, you increase what, why would you increase the problem behavior? So it, you decrease the problem behavior and then you put it back to baseline and then you walk away and be like, yep, I established functional control over that behavior. Yes, <laughs> well done. Um, and then what? You just ask people for more money so you can fix the problem? <laughs> I mean, what do you know? Um, you don't do that. Um, fix the problem right from the beginning, um, or at least help the client, I guess, is what uh, probably a nicer way to say things is. Uh, but uh, my point is, is that ABA designs, while they might show up in an experiment now and again, or in a laboratory now and again, they have um, a limited value in the field because they leave you on baseline. They do establish functional uh, relations uh, pretty well. Um, I mean, there's some limitations there. I'm just not going to go too in-depth into that right now. Um, as opposed to a BAB design. Right, which is where you have um, what you start out with your intervention phase, and you return to a baseline. Not return. You go to baseline because you don't return to it anyway. Um, and then you put the intervention intervention phase back in. Great design type, especially functional in the in in the real world, because you're starting with the the the, the intervention. You're making your comparison back to a baseline, just like you always would, go back to your intervention. So you're getting those phase changes that are associated with the beginning and the end of the intervention, um, which is smart. And you leave the client on the intervention phase, right? Which is ideally what you want to do, or the dog or whatever. I, you know, I use the term client loosely. Um, so let's see, what else? Um, the problem with a BAB design is that you don't see the pre-intervention effects, right? You can't control for the pre-intervention effects, the pre-intervention levels, um, and the intervention's effect on those pre-intervention levels. You just don't know, right? So when in doubt, do an ABAB design. Um, you don't need to do a BAB design. But of course, there's an ethical issue that pops up all the time with regard to an ABAB design as compared to a BAB design. Why? Because you have to get that extra baseline during the ABAB design, which then probably might be unethical if you have an intervention that can control something like self-injurious behavior, right? Um, so it, there are a lot of layers here. It is not as good, like I said, it's not as good at establishing, establishing functional relations. It is weaker than an ABA design, um, but it's very functional. It's a very applied sort of thing. And if you're trying to solve problems in the real world, <laughs> probably not a bad design to use, especially if you want to establish some functional control. So, um, or some functional relations, functional control, whatever. It's too many words. They're all just kind of mingling, mingling together. I'm trying to think what else. Maybe I probably forgot something. I suppose you can tell me in the comments and I might agree with you. So anyway, I think that's about it for those two. Thank you. Did that video make sense? Probably not. I've watched enough of my videos and I know that they don't completely make sense. Hell, I don't make sense when I make sense. So maybe you should ask a question. We'll turn it into a bear's beauty if we ever get time. How do you get time? How do you get us time? You like, you subscribe, you share, you donate, you do those things, and maybe we'll make more videos. But seriously, go back, ask a question or two. It help, it's helpful. You can ask them down there. We tend to reply.